Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Cajun buttered corn on the cob. Alright guys, I'm starting out here to have a pot of water that's come up to a boil. And in the background you see some pasta I and that's for a side dish to go with this. I'm going to start by adding in about a tablespoon of salt into my water. You want to make sure you have your water seasoned well. With about a tablespoon of sugar. Who doesn't love sweet summer corn? That's some fresh corn on the cob here. I'm going to get that down in the water. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil and I'm going to allow this to boil for about six minutes. After my six minutes I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to let it hang out in the water there for about two minutes or so. Okay now that my corn is done I set it aside on that hot burner that I cooked the corn on I have a saucepan with four tablespoons of butter in. We're going to make the Cajun sauce, butter sauce for over the corn. So I'm going to start by putting in a teaspoon and a half of Cajun seasoning. And I'm just eyeballing this, guys. And my heat's off on that burner. That's just the existing heat from the uh, corn cooking. I'm going to put a teaspoon of garlic salt. I'm going to use garlic salt for this. And I'm going to put the juice of one lime in here. And Walmart picked this lime out for me when they did, they did my grocery pickup. And this lime's a little anorexic. I would have grabbed a bigger one, but when, unfortunately when you have the convenience of them shopping for you, they get to choose for you. Alright, let me grab a spoon. I'm going to allow this to simmer on this heat here for about two minutes or so. Alright, now that I have my corn all plated up, I'm going to take that Cajun butter that we made and I'm just gonna put this down over the corn. Right now that my corn all loaded down with that buttery goodness I'm gonna put some fresh poison on here. You could also use cilantro that would probably, probably be more appropriate for the corn but I don't like cilantro so I'm just using fresh parsley. This here will give a tad bit flavor and a whole lot of color to the dish. All right, this is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some cheesy shells and pork chops to go with this. Let me get in here and try this corn, guys. It's really good. It's a little heat from the chili or Cajun seasoning. You get that lime juice in there, the garlic salt. It's buttery. Taste the sweetness of the sugar I put in the water. That's really delicious, guys, and that wasn't hard at all. All right, there you have it. Cajun buttery corn on the cob. Thanks for watching, and remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.